Being a great project manager as an engineer can drive your career to new heights. In this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Andrew Dorman. Andrew is a licensed professional engineer and a senior civil engineer at Burns and McDonald. Andrew, you've worked on some high profile, very complex projects. Talk to us about project management. How have you excelled in project management and how do you make sure that your projects finish on time and on budget? So I think the first and foremost thing was, is qualities first, right? Is, is ensuring that the designs that we're doing are meet the quality standards that the client expects. Um, sitting with the client and, and, and understanding the, the scope of the project, the project requirements, um, and really fully understanding the full path forward for the design. And then from there, creating the relationships with the client and having that open dialogue and those open open uh, conversations that you can pick up the phone or shoot an email anytime you want and, and get some more information during the design phase. And creating creating all of that helps the design phase move along. You don't get stuck in a rut. Um, and then at the same time, you're coordinating internally with your other disciplines, whether it be electrical engineers or mechanical engineers and, and ensuring that we're we're fully coordinated as a team. We're not, you know, going solo on on down a path that we're not coordinated, you know, walking together as a team to a to a deliverable. Um, and then at the, you know, kind of to kind of button up at the beginning of what I said is ensuring quality and ensuring that, you know, we're tying in utilities in the right spot. We're not we don't have you know conflicts with crossing utilities or whatever that may be. And then meeting the client need. And, and, and trying to stay together as a team and, and accepting the client as part of that team and making them feel involved all the way through the process of the design. That's awesome. And, you know, we always hear that communication is important in project management and engineering, and that's, we all know that, but it sounds from your answer there that that communication is even more important or more critical at the very beginning of the project when you're really trying to understand the project guidelines and the client expectations so that you can take that information and then share with your team and kind of use that to, to kind of ensure that you drive that quality throughout. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think having that, that initial kickoff meeting and, and being face-to-face -face with the end users or um, the client, whoever it may be, and, and, creating that relationship and then creating that dialogue at the very beginning, it goes, it, it goes so much towards the end of the, of the, the design that you can really harness those relationships and those, and those conversations and, and use them throughout design. And so you could use them as a tool to, to, to move the project, move the project down the line and really um, provide the best possible outcome design for our clients. I hope you enjoy this week's engineering management lessons video. I mean, Andrew gave some great points on getting out on the right foot with your projects, which is critical to understanding the client's expectations and becoming a great project manager and ultimately a great engineering leader. Please consider subscribing to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.